sometimes feel that Phoenix hates me. Is she going to attack another dog? Is she going to bite somebody? We need help. She bites and can't be trusted around the kids. No. No. Phoenix has attacked me previously. Enough. No. No. She's jumped up me and started biting me all over, and I've literally struggled to get her off me. This could be playful to her, but I don't think she knows her limits. She's quite unpredictable. Like, I wouldn't trust her with the children, but it's out of the house that is our biggest issue. Usually I'd be like, Phoenix, no, get off, and she'd ignore me. So then I literally, I'd get her, and then I'd literally be like, come off. Usually it'd be like, I'm going to get her, and she'll start doing her teeth at me. You get to the point you're thinking, God, is she actually going to hurt me? OK. A behaviour that started pretty much on day one. No. No. So that's like a reaction that I've got her off the sofa and she's trying to get back onto okay. it. Oh, wow, she's really grabbing you. Yeah. She's actually biting the edge of the sofa. Then she's, like, or air snapping. Yeah. We call her that, that her yap yaps. Dalina <laughs> yap yap. That's a snap snap. <laughs> which is not good. It's something that we need to address. The first step is getting Phoenix's cooperation when she's doing something she shouldn't. Victoria's solution, the touch cue. Dogs are naturally inquisitive, so when you present your hand to them, they're gonna investigate it. When she touches her nose to my hand, then I'm gonna give her something. Yes, good girl. Very good. Yeah. Yes, good girl. I'm now going to put a word to it. I'm going to say, touch. Yes, good girl. So now, when this pup feels agitated and refuses to get on the couch... Touch. Yes, good girl. You ready? Touch. Good girl. Michelle has a way to do it using a skill Phoenix likes doing. Up. Touch. Good girl. That's much nicer. How did that feel? Oh, heavenly. When she's really, really fluid with that touch cue, then you begin to use food intermittently. With Go get it! Good girl! She's so excitable that she's got all this energy that's going at mouthing, biting and barking and then pulling on the lead. So much energy before she goes on a walk. You have to get rid of some of that energy out here first. But before they can even try, Phoenix goes for Michelle. Okay, stop. I don't know what stop. to do. Just here, just stand up. Don't look at her. Cross your arms. Ow, my bum. Oh, Phoenix. Back. Has Victoria finally met her match? And if she starts biting your arms behind, put them in front. Unacceptable behaviour, not happening. She's only doing this because this is the adolescent play with me, play with me now. Yeah. Yeah. So the more you go, no, yeah. you're playing with her. Okay. You're actually giving her great chew toys. <laughs> you can understand it, it's just frustration. It's like, I need an outlet, give me an outlet. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.